Okay, and welcome students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. Um, these are the chapter seven word problems, the odd number problems that were assigned in the study guide. And definitely go through the drill problems for this chapter, the videos for them and the theory, uh, because everything was building one upon the other. And, and to me, that was what you did with the theory and the drill, problem, drill problems was nothing more than uh, building the ideas um, which are now going to be applied against these here word problems. So this is really the meat and the crux of uh, doing the, uh, you know, the discounts. Uh, so with that said, we'll move on. Anyway, let me get the pen here and change the slide. Okay, um, word problem 7-21. The list price of a smartphone is $299. A local Verizon dealer receives a trade discount of 20%. Find the trade discount amount and the net price. Well, relatively simple. If our list price is $299 and the discount amount is 20%, well, we take 20% of 299 and let's see here, that ends up being uh, $59.80. So that's our discount amount. And this was our list price. And to find out what our net price is, we take the $299 and subtract the uh, discount amount, $59.80. And that ends up being twenty nine three two. So our net price is two thirty nine twenty. And that was relatively simple. Seven dash twenty three. All right, let's see here. Lucky you, you went to couponcabin.com and found a twenty percent off coupon to your significant other's favorite store. Armed with that coupon, you went to the store only to find a store-wide sale offering 10% off everything in the store. In addition, your credit card has a special offer that allows you to save 10% if you use your credit card for all purchases that day. Using the credit card, what will you pay before tax for the $155 gift you found. Use the single equivalent discount to calculate how much you save and then calculate your final sale price. Okay, so let's see what we got going here. All right, uh, you found a 20% off coupon to your significant others. So you find the, from coupon cabin, you get 20% off. Armed with that coupon, you went to the store-wide sale offering 10% off everything in the store. So that's 10% everything in the store. In addition, your credit card offers, credit card has a special offer that allows you to save 10% if you use your credit card for all purchases that day. Using your credit card, what will you pay before tax for the $155 gift you found? Okay. And it says use the single equivalent discount, right? And calculate your final uh, your final price. So if we recall on the single equivalent discount, all we're doing here is, is we're going to multiply our discounts together, and that comes up with a total of. Uh, 0 0.648. Okay. Um, remember, the way we, we do that is the reciprocal of that, the opposite of that, the complement of 20% is 80% times the opposite of 10% is 90%, and the opposite of 10% is 90%. And <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, and so that ends up being, when you multiply those all together, it ends up being 
or the decimal equivalent is 0 0.648. Okay, so now um, we can take the 155 and multiply it by 0 0.648. and end up with a net price of $100.44. Okay, so that's my net price. Because remember, this is the total of the discount as a percentage, right? Um, if we looked at this, you know, I have 100%. Well, if my discount percentage is 64.8, I mean, that's the amount that I'm taking off. Well, then I end up with 35.2% uh, uh, is what I'm actually paying. Okay, So I could have taken the 155 and multiplied it by 35.2% uh, okay, to find out um, how much my savings was, which is 54 56, uh, $54.56. Or, conversely, I could have taken the 155 and subtracted the $100.44 and came up with that same discount amount. Okay, so in answer to the question, this is my discount amount, this is my net price. Okay, and I use the single equivalent discount by taking the inverse and finding that there. Okay. Next problem, and, and if you you're lost on the theory with that problem, remember go back to the theory videos or the drill problem videos in order to you know, catch all of that. Why we did what we did when we did. Okay. Seven dash twenty five. Um, a manufacturer of skateboards offered a five uh, two one chain discount to many customers. Bob Sporting Goods ordered 20 skateboards for a total of $625 for total of for total $625 list price. What was the net price of the skateboards? What was the trade discount amount? All right, so our net price is $625. I'm sorry, our list price is $625, and because we have a 5-2-1 chain discount. Um, that's 95% times 98% times 99%, which ends up being, uh, let's see here, 92.169 as a percent or 0 0.92169. So if I have um, $625, and I multiply it by the 0 0.92169, okay, I end up with a net price of $576.05625. And of course, I'm rounding to cents here, so a six is greater than five, so I end up with $576.06 is my net price. And the difference between the two, 625 less 576.06. The difference between the two ends up being uh, $48.94 uh, here. So that's my discount amount. Okay. Now remember, I could have taken my uh, single equivalent there and subtracted that from one. So that's one minus 0 0.92169, and I would have ended up with um, 0 0.7831. And if I took the 625 times the 0 0.7831, I would have ended up with the same discount amount. Okay, Two different ways to arrive at that discount amount. Right. Um, going forward, I think I'm not going to be spending 
the time doing it this way because that's just a lot of extra steps to me okay if I calculated this and then I subtract that from one to get this you know that seems to be an extra step to me versus knowing what my net price is and then subtracting it from the 625 see I'd have this one two to arrive at that here I just have I've got here and then I just take the one I have to do this anyway or I could have done the whole problem in reverse and and come up with this discount amount right here and then subtract that from 625 in order to get my net price you know it's six of one half a dozen the other it just depends upon which uh, perspective that you're coming from okay all right so move on nope I'm gonna stop here um, I'll just quickly recap this one though um, because I know the screen is a little bit uh, messy here okay So I had 521 as discount. I multiply the inverses all together to get 92.169%. Of course, the decimal equivalent is 0 0.92169. So I multiply that times the $625 list price in order to get the net price, right, of 576.06. And then if I take the 625 and subtract the 576. 06, I end up with the discount amount of $48.94, and that would have been my discount amount. See how much easier it is? So I'm not going to be spending the time finding the inverse and working it backwards through the discount. Just, but just be aware that if the problem it does ask you for that, you're able to, you know, Again, it's six of one, half a dozen the other. It's just a matter of whether you're taking the net, the list price minus the discount, or you're uh, taking the list price minus the net price and finding for the other. It's sort of like, you know, it's sort of like um, saying three plus two, uh, three plus what is equal to five. You know, you can rearrange this information and still uh, get everything you need. Well, that's basically the same thing we're doing here. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.